The Rio Grande has nourished farms, families, and wildlife in the southwest for centuries. As demands on the water increase, researchers are looking at new and old ways to improve efficiency of irrigation and other uses. The USDA-funded Rio Grande Basin Initiative is sponsoring several projects on farms in the region. Socorro County is centrally located right here in the state of New Mexico with over 6,000 square miles, so we're one of the larger counties in the state. And what we've been doing with some of our Rio Grande Basin Initiative is actually trying to monitor some soil moisture. We grow fruit and vegetables and quite a bit of alfalfa. We've always uh, used flood irrigation, and just recently on our vegetables, we're going into the drip irrigation, mainly just because it's more efficient. We get a lot more production you know, out of our land and the water we use with the drip. Both large and small farms are the focus of studies by scientists at Texas A&M and New Mexico State University. Here at the Alcalde Sustainable Agriculture Science Center, one of the main projects is related to the Seque irrigation systems and their influence on the irrigated corridors. The Seque is our traditional irrigation ditches or canals around here. The Seque refers both to the canal and also to the community that operates it and benefits from it. Unlike canals lined with cement to prevent leaching, the earthen acequias allow seepage into groundwater. But the researchers are finding that the seepage isn't wasted. It promotes riparian buffers, cleaner groundwater, and possibly more efficient storage of water. The reservoir is in place. There's a lot of water that's lost due to evaporation. And so we'd like to put numbers on this to see to what extent are we actually storing water more efficiently underground here because of the seepage taking place for a return later to the river. In central New Mexico, for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Pat O'Leary.